welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy VI. Uh, there was not nearly as much to do after the last video ended into this one as I thought there was going to be. Um, apparently not a whole lot of new monsters have spawned out on the belt, so I picked up a handful that I didn't have before, and I was able to get a bunch of lore with um, Strago or Zifnab as I have called him, but I, you know, I, I was expecting more monsters on the belt based on how long it's been since we've been there, but not as many as I expected. Uh, I mean, admittedly, there's more, and the you know the volume of monsters possible keeps getting bigger, which means the, the odds of running into something new goes down every time. But still, um, I know there's still a few more monsters left in the in the world that we haven't fought yet uh, that still need to be added to the list, but. We'll get there eventually. Uh, and some of the monsters there that I had ran into before, I was able to use like a sketch command with Realm and teach one of their abilities via lore to uh, Zifnab. So I picked up a couple that way. I never would have thought of that. Thankfully, the guide that I am, am using for making sure I don't miss lores and uh, rages and monsters and stuff um, did say, okay, use this. and. I feel no shame at all, because there's not a chance in hell I would have thought of that on my own. So, uh, anyway, so I also, um, if you listen to this upcoming PSA, I did manage to take out the Intanger. So, here's that. Quick insert here. I just did beat the Intanger on Triangle Island. These are the results you see up there. The 10 AP and everybody dead, or Tethys dead, the others not really doing too well when we look that was sort of skin in my teeth i don't want to have to do that fight i really just did it as a sort of test run to see if the tactics that i had read about work they did but good god that battle is still such a pain in the butt i don't really want to feel like redoing it to record the thing especially because i did about as well as i could and i'd probably screw it up the next time anyway just to walk through the tactics really fast if you put shell on everybody and haste everybody. I went in with auto haste on Hermes boots that helped a bit until people died. Um, and then you stop the intanger that brings him out from invisibility and holds him solid so you can hit him with blitz techniques like meteor strike I think did the best and Khan used fang, Kallen used drill because that cuts through defense and doesn't. I don't have to worry about him accidentally not doing the right chainsaw. And then Tethys basically was on standby for um, stop spells. Everybody has a stop spell as well, just in case. The problem is, if he's already stopped, casting stop on him again is a waste of a spell. It just says missed or doesn't work or whatever. But you can't tell when he becomes unstopped. So every few moves you have to throw a stop spell at him again and see if it works. And if you time it right and you're lucky, you can stop him again before he automatically casts AoE Medio and runs a pretty good chance of wiping out your whole team. If it was higher level and more people could survive a Medio, it would probably be a little bit easier for where I am. I think I did pretty darn well skating through. Um, every now and then someone would dodge it and miss the Medio entirely, or it would do enough to take Tethys down to like 40 hit points-ish or so. That sort of thing. So every now and then just one person would survive and then you kick off a bunch of Phoenix Downs or revive spells, heal everybody back up, recast Shell and Haste if you want, and then stop him again. While he's invisible, he does nothing to you, which is nice. Um, however, if you queue up a stop spell, and then he medios everybody except the person who casts stop, you're on a bit of a clock because now he's stopped and holding there just waiting to hit you with another medio while you're trying to revive people and get yourself healed up in time before he unstops and kills you all. So that's a bit of an unfortunate situation that happened a couple of times during that fight. So anyway, I wish I had been recording it. It was just intended as a test run to see what happened. Um, and right about the point where I was like, all right, I think I've got a handle on this. I, I, I guess I can stop and redo this for real. Suddenly he died and I won and I don't want to redo the fight. So. Anyway, I did pull it off though. I may or may not have killed that thing in the past at this point in the game. I don't honestly don't remember, but now I definitely have. So, thank you. 
So yeah, so I did get it, um, and much harder, as I said in that little clip there, much harder fight than uh, I really felt like competing. So anyway, this was actually the team that I used to do it, and so I, and I just finished healing. This is not the team I'm taking to the floating continent that we're headed to next. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite parts of the game. It's just I think it's so unique. And so I think we should be ready to go and pick our team. I am going to do something that I have never in my life done before and never thought I was going to do. I'm going to use Mog. He's one of my least favorite characters in here. As I've said before, I don't like losing control of my characters in a fight. However, one of the things that I accidentally read in, the, in that guide was how good Mog is for this next part. Just He's got, with all of the different dances he's got, he's got a huge AoE advantage. Never would have placed that, so I've never, ever, ever used Mog on the Floating Continent. So, what the hell? I'm trying something new here. I'm already using uh, Gao way more than I ever did before, so and it's paid off. So, I'll go for it. See what happens. Uh, let's see here. So, up, up, and away we go here. And... I need to set the team just so I've got everybody equipped properly. I don't want to need chances here. Yay. Okay, so we're going with Tethys and Mog and Rufio. This is the three that happen. You only get three when you go to the floating continent and while you might be tempted to take Celeste or Celeste don't, for reasons that will become clear later. So if you've never played this before, don't do it. And that's all we're going with is those three. And so we're going to talk to this dude. And equip everybody, I need to do a quick equip. A quick equip, and I'll be right back. And here we go. Head to the floating continent. Alright, let's all right, let's find a way onto that thing. Let's form a party of three. Everyone else below deck. Yes, ma'am. All right, again, never thought I'd be doing this fight like this, but let's see what happens. Okay. In a few fight battles here against these airships that are flying around us. Uh-oh! It's the Imperial Air Force. They've got us surrounded. We're going to have to engage them. Of course they are. Alright, rage. Let's do cat for the moment. Uh, no idea what's going to work up here. Let's try that. Gotta work. Okay, gotta watch XP here because I did a bit so much fighting on the belt, sometimes you lose track of the fact that you do have to worry about XP if you're trying to stack the game here, so. Alright, I'm just gonna keep going with that combo. That always seemed to work really nice. And Tethys, you go ahead and Assuming you have a chance to, jeez. Bye bye. All right. Uh, let's see. Two more fights should do it for before I need to swap mods, Esper. You just kind of wander around. If you stay perfectly still, I don't think you can be attacked. But obviously, then nothing happens. You just get to enjoy the jamming music for a little while longer, I guess. What the? 
That didn't look like it actually uh, selected everybody to heal. I like that one. Just bird falls out of the sky. Okay, it did. I didn't see the hands show up. I select everyone. Reverse thruster. Eh? All right, you did. Okay, I, so far so good here. Oh, cutting it back close there, Mog. All right. Uh, I don't know what you've been. I have no idea what st your stats are like these days. Forty-nine strength, thirty-nine magic. Okay, let's give you some ma magic. Okay, everybody else is in good shape. Everybody else is in great shape. Wait, you just heal Mog. Oh, never mind. Again, the thing I don't like about Mog is... No control. So far, he's been making up for it by just destroying things, which is fine, but overall, I still find it not my favorite uh, long-term character um, interaction, strategy, what ha whatever you want to call it. So, Mog will never become one of my favorites, but this is paying off so far. Strange up ahead. It's coming this way. What is that thing? Oh my goodness. Uh, what were you working on, Mog? Can't she? Can't sit. Kate sit. Uh, healing with Rufio here, since he doesn't need his magic traditionally. So you can see, I've got a pretty good array of spells on everybody. So. Alright, uh, let's see, Rufio. I think you've got everything important. Oh, Madwin. There you go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now the bubblegum... The little ball of cotton, can smiling cotton candy there is on his way to the back. And I can't tell if you can see it or if that's just the way the sprite looks. There he is. Really? This is our last battle. All right. Uh, elemental damage between Ultras, of course, always does not like fire and lightning. Uh, but I believe the his little buddy back there that's going to show up in a minute absorbs fire. So I don't want to choose something with Gao since I can't control him after this. That is inherently fiery. So ice and water, or just go stray cat attacks. I think we'll go with... I'm tempted to do Stray Cat, because... I don't have to worry about elemental damage, then. And... Dancing... Okay, that'll work. Wind... Same problem, I, I want to say that uh, the pink guy absorbs wind. That he's a wind elemental. Forest or Earth. I don't know if Earth's going to work up here. That's the problem. Since I don't normally use these, I don't know how well things are going to work. Hey, Stecka. Well, I got my guys, two of my guys are already hasted. How about... Let's try the forest.
Who stumbled? Smog? Yes, apparently. Try that again. Oh, it looks like I lose again. But today I brought a little body of mine. Mr. Tyson, come on down. He's not so great with words. But his strength will blow a little away. I'll oh, think I don't have to do his voice for a while. All right. Let's see. That was doing just fine. Okay. Mog. Apparently the forest is not going to work up here. I swear there's just some places some of the dances just don't work. Uh, let's try... Bye, Ultras. Twilight? No idea. Nope. Mog, you're, uh, you're losing me here, buddy. Alright, I believe Bizarra is what I want for him. Oh hell, let's try wind. Maybe it'll actually work up here. Of course, if it does, and that heals him, I'm gonna feel bad. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he was. I'm so used to Typhon being a wind elemental type thing. Let's just finish this fight. There we go. Bye. Now the real boss fight. Okay, again, I got I remember how is this one gonna work? Because it's robotic, so lightning's gonna be good. I don't know what I have that's inherently lightning. Let me look at my list here. Okay, okay. So I need to kill the laser gun so that he will summon a bit, which is the missable enemy here. Okay. And again, now I have two enemies or two people on my team who I can't control trying to make sure that only certain things die, that I'm second-guessing using these two. So far, I mean, for the regular fights, it's been great, but for this for this fight, for the boss battles, not so thrilled. So instead, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep Mog out. Good dog. Okay, where's the laser? Okay, laser gun. I right, have to kill the laser gun. Right? Yeah. Okay, kill the laser gun. Dandara. On the laser gun. Okay, laser gun is down. Don't kill it, Rufio. I need the bit. There we go. Okay. Trance. Dance. Because now I don't want that countdown to finish. Thanks, Monk. What the? Oh, Criminelli. Did not realize that was going to happen. Probably should have known. Okay. Okay, good. It's dead. And Tethys is out of power. Okay, there we go. Thundar. Should have enough time to get at least one off, possibly two. Now we're talking. Okay. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It kept control of Mog initially. You know, you lose the ability to take advantage of his dancing, but at the same time, since I did take the time to get him magic and stuff, he was still useful in the fight, so I think that was important. Princess ring. Ooh. 
And right there is the reason why you only bring three people. Just ahead of Kefka, Gestal, and the Warring Triad. And Ryakin lying there on the ground. Okay, Esperus, what do you need? Sure, why not? You're almost done with all the Esperus I have. Okay, Rufio, you're okay for the moment. Everybody's full. That was nice of it. Alright, now I like the floating continent, but it can be a bit of a pain. Filthy, double-crossing empire. Tried to off me the second I'd served my purpose. Ryken, we thought you were dead. Is Interceptor alright? He's fine. Come on, let's go. Just leave me here. Sorry, that's not happening. I've got all this extra equipment I need to put on someone. Alright. Power of Wind. Okay, that's fine. Do I have an extra Genji Glove? Yes, I do. Ha ha! Randomly dispatches. I actually don't want that. Um, I'm going to have you throwing stuff, so I'm going to take that off. I'm not sure what the damage on shurikens is based off of. So just in case, I'm going to give you a Hyper Wrist and a Mento Ring, because you can. And I will say... Just to point out for later not information, it is of interest and note that only Ryakin and Realm can wear the Memento Ring, I believe. Possibly Zephnab, but I think that's it, if I remember correctly. Okay, abilities. Espers, you, let's get you something for healing needs. Since again, don't need him for magic, so might as well get some use out of him. Okay, here we go. This place has lots of stuff like that that breaks out of the way, and not all of them are as obvious as a set of stairs leading up to a blank wall. So, I have to remember where some of these studies are. Oh, goody, a Durgan, right off the bat. Fantastic. Um, wind? No idea. Throw. Obviously not. Okay. Hit him with a bird. And he snorted me. Awesome. Okay, solid damage, Ryakin. Bye. Rufio, really? Ugh, hate these things. Alright, I'm not loving this team. Cat scratch, Rufio. Cat scratch. Come on. What is this? Do I need to give you a sniper thing? That was a fantastic battle. Wait, no wrong. Abilities. Rufio, how about you heal everybody since you really kind of dropped the ball that time, buddy. With your missing every other attack. Actually, even worse than that, you miss more often than every other. Alright, yeah, I'm not used to this team for this place, so I don't know what sort of tactics I need for this. This is actually kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. Oops. Star Water. Okay, decent. Decent. So far, none of the damage I'm dishing out is blowing my hair back, guys. Much better. Thank you, Rufio. Typhus. I'm... Well, you're dead now. Uh, I mean, it was okay. Again, that was, so that was an AoE, so... I'm not seeing Mog's big advantage here. The 
use Hameg. I don't think Raikin can use that, can he? No. Okay, uh, let's see. There should be a breakthrough here, yeah. Okay, here we go. Big fight down there. Oh, mother pus bucket. No thanks. Like, I'm still digging Rufio. He's been, do he's been doing an okay job for the most part. Except missing behemoths. But... Oh, the dragon, rather. I'm really not seeing Mog's appeal at the moment. I hate this thing. And you can see why. Holy crap. I've got a bit of a... Are you susceptible to break by any chance? No, you're susceptible to killing me. I freaking hate this thing. Open a hole in the ground. Never mind. Thanks, Mog. Try again. Nope. Well, I'm learning what doesn't work up here, apparently. That was fun. I'm really not liking this team. Maybe there's something I could be doing better in the actual attacks? I don't know. Like I said, I don't normally use these except, um, like Mog, for instance, so I have no idea what to do differently with him. I'm, I, I don't understand why he's like, oh yeah, Mog's great here. I don't know what that whole thing was about, and I'm really not pleased with this. Try it again. Have an idea. See if it pans out. Against Mr. Throat Chatty. Wind is good. Wind is good. Thanks, Mog. Okay. Um. whether that was going to work or not since he was muted. Oh, just in case. Hey! Mog finally joined the fight. Okay, and Raiken has some healing again now. That's nice. Okay, uh, you won that one. Alright. 
Not what I wanted here, but okay, I'll take it for the moment. Gotta watch the battle here. I think I have an idea that might work. And I've only got one of them, so if this doesn't work, I'm in trouble. needs the hit points, that's fine. Okay, so what I was trying to do, unsuccessfully, was use the invisibility scroll to make my team invisible. Um, because that should protect me at least a little bit at the beginning. I don't know if it wears off or what I, how many hits I can take, but that should protect me from those throat jabs. Not a tactic I normally use, because I get, I also very rarely use uh, Ryakin. Let's see. Ooh, wait a second. Who does... Yes, Phantom. Okay. Anybody... Okay, Mog? You're going Phantom, buddy. Now I have two options for turning people invisible at the beginning, as fast as I can in the fight. Okay. Magic. You're done with that, so what do you need? Sure. Oh, Mog, you're actually you're about to go up a level. What are you going to get out of that, just out of curiosity? Magic point? Okay, that's fine. Not fussed about that. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Okay, come on, come on, somebody. Manto, go. Live, people, live. Okay. Please tell me that's not going to knock off my invisibility by healing me. Okay, good. No, it did. Really? Okay, so I think the idea is sound, but I really need to not um, waste it. Or am I invisible? And in because he's missing an awful lot here. Okay. Done. I hate that guy so very much. I need to remember that for next time, because... Were they invisible and I just couldn't tell? I don't know. I'm, I'll find out when I go back to watch the playback. No, because only Ryakin's invisible, so I don't know what happened there. But I'll take it. Okay, uh... Actually, I don't care. I'm not fling that thing. Bog, you're killing me. Supposed to be killing them, dude. Okay, one of my 
of bigger threats is dead. I hate those stupid things with their uh, the life shaver attack. Okay, thanks for the heal. I've got healing options, you fuzzy white winged thing. Now, let's see. Now, yeah, there we go. Slight upgrade on that. And now, if I do double, double, if I put the Genji glove on Ryakin, then he gets the two attacks. But I'm, he's still going to be mostly throwing things. Okay, Esper's for you. What do you need? Sure. Don't care. Any save point. Something I noticed in someone else's playthrough um, is that the top of the tent changes based on who you have leading the party. So Tethys there was a little bow. Setzer has like a, a thing of dice, and I haven't seen any of the other ones yet, but I gotta try and keep an eye out for that when I eventually use tents more often. Okay, now. Okay, up we go. Okay. Now would be a good time for your dances to work. Thank you, Mog. Okay, Rufio, wind slash? Wind slash? Yes! Mod, can you do it again without tripping? Yay! See, when everything works as expected, the battles are okay. Okay. I need to start paying attention to XP again. Let's see. How is her... What are her stats doing these days? 37 strength, 47... Okay, she could use a little more strength. So these will pop you up in unexpected places. Always the same place, but your first time through here, you really won't know where you're going. Uh, let's see. I believe first we go down this way. Step on the button. I don't know. Am I slightly underleveled for this place? Because, like, I'm kind of taking a beating here. Let's see. Yeah, let's try that, and maybe he can get some kills off. I just gotta remember who I'm attacking with it. Uh, nope, this way first. God, I hate this, uh, some of these fights. I like this place, I really do. As much as I complain about it, that's the sign of a challenging area. <sighs> let's see, uh, eye drops. Surprisingly low on those.
All right, whoever suggested Mog for this place, I respectfully disagree. Rufio, doing great. I'm, I'm thrilled with his choice. Mog? If there may, if it was a relic that increased his the likelihood that he would actually successfully dance, that would be nice. Or if I knew what stat it was based on, like I don't think it is, that would be nice. But right now, this RNG of tripping three out of every four attempts is just ridiculous. One of them's a dead end, I think, so I think if I push the button. Okay. And push that button. Okay, yeah, that uh, that little suction tube shortcut immediately left of me leads to a dead end, I believe, so that's why I'm not going back for it. There's this. Okay, now you're down. Now this path is open. I don't think there's anything down there, right? Nope. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can't get through. That little dead end spot above me, that's where that other shortcut goes to. The, and so you can't get in or out of there except that little tube right there on the left. Brain pans apparently also come right back to life if Raya can insta-kills them. That's good to know. Go save it. Okay. Is it a monster in a box or just an item? Hooray. I don't know who that's for, to be honest. Say there's the boss fight coming up is a hard boss. I know we're still missing at least one bad guy here because there are um, ninjas up here somewhere. So coming up, I may need to wander around a bit until I find a ninja. Where I'm missing something. Other than that. What am I missing somewhere? I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna say yes, because I'm sick of Mog. I have no right to fight at your side. Not after I sold myself to the Empire. Bye! So you can't take him with you. Yeah, I'm ditching Mog. Um, pop down and refresh really fast. item shop.
Okay, so at least you don't have to refight the Air Force, but... Okay, so I'm going to keep using Riffio, because he's been doing okay, and... Well, I don't know. He's not who I normally would use for this, so... And for the boss fight, he doesn't really offer anything... Uh, for it. So... There's no reason to pick him to get there. I think to replace... Uh, Mog, I'm going to bring in Locke, because I believe the next boss has a really good stealing. I don't remember what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's worth it. And so the question is, do I bring in Gao again, Rufio, or swap in someone else here? Other than Celeste. I'll do it. I'm, I'm, again, I'm trying to do this because I don't normally use them, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going with the Mog again. Screw that, but Gat was, Rufio was doing solid, and I'm willing to keep using him in the interest of trying different things in the game this time. Probably should have unequipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get you back in the party. We meet again. And they're just chilling there waiting for us. Alright, fortunately Locke shouldn't need any of the same stuff that uh, Mog had. Nope. You're getting a Hawkeye. And... The Spracer... Increases success rate. I'll want that. And I think a lot of the stuff up here has decent steals as well, so... Where is... Brigand's Glove? There we go. Formation. Okay, you're in the back. Yeah, you're probably fine. Everybody else is probably fine where they are. Okay. So, I just gotta race back through that area, and I'll meet you when I get to the other save point. Brock, or uh, Locke, his uh, tent shape is a little moon, apparently. Okay, so I'm back at the save point, clearly. Uh, and I'm really enjoying Locke way more than that frickin' Moogle. Um, and I did discover what I think is the thing with the Life Shaver that I mentioned before, where it was healing Ryakin. I don't think it's the Memento Ray, I think it's actually the fact that he's wearing Gaia gear, because the same thing happened to Rufio. And so the only thing they have in common is the armor that they're wearing. So that's got to be what it is, uh, which I never knew about that. Again, okay, learning new things, even as many times I've played this freaking game. Stuff like that still can take me by surprise. Okay, uh, there's still, I need a little bit more, because I'm going to try a tactic on this next boss that I've also never done before. I've heard it works, um, but this would seem to be the playthrough to give new things a try. But to do it, I need him... I need everyone to have Rasp, because that reduces the target's MP. Now, theoretically, when I get to the next boss, if he runs out of MP, he dies. I don't know how hard that is to do. Like I said, never tried it, so... We will see what happens, but I need a few more battles to get Ryakin up to Rasp, and I still need to find a ninja, so we'll see what happens in the next little bit here. Also, save. I was just about to say I haven't noticed anything else interesting or of note about my run through uh, to get here until that last battle when L.3 Confuse worked on Rufio after he was already raged and he cast Wind Slash and wiped out half my team here, like half their life, and killed Ryken. That sucked. Um, so let's recover from that, please. Oh, probably should have healed him first. Uh, I don't know, let's use. I don't want to waste my magic here. Now that I'm actually going for towards the boss here. 
Okay, so still need to step on this, reactivate all the buttons, and do the things. Okay. I know this time, no, I do not want to go down the airship. Okay, but I do need a ninja. Where's the ninjas? I swear to God, there are ninjas up here. <sighs> Wait a second. I've already found a ninja. Ninja! Don't have to worry about the ninja. Forget, that's right, because what uh, the dude that dropped down on you inside the cave um, where that dot is right there. Whatever, the cave the lead led to the sealed gate. You know, the dude that dropped down on you. He was a ninja, so I have the ninja already on here. Excellent. Okay, we're done. Good. in decent shape. Okay, so now I just need to finish off Raikin with Shiva and not talk to that little rat looking thing up there. Okay, there we go. Alright, you... I don't think there's any need for a lot of this. So... For now, let's just pop you over to Kirin. And you can go back to something else. I think you're on Madwin. Yeah. Okay, heal up. Okay, here we go. Let's give this a try. Ultima weapon. My name is Ultima. I am both ancient and unrivaled. I do not bleed. I am strength given form. Yep, yep. Alright, so, we're just going to use Rasp, you're going to mug, okay, 280 magic drain from him, Elixir, no, that's not what I wanted, that's not the thing. check. Okay, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Just checking the monster thing here. Yeah, no, the rear steel is, in fact, a ribbon. So... Yeah, I'm gonna restart this until I get the ribbon, because there's only, like, that many ribbons in the game. So, worth it to steal this one, I think. There we go. Okay, got the ribbon. First attack, first move of this attack, so we're on board here. Nothing else has happened yet. Um, I think, however, I do want her to float. Everybody else has Gaia. And there's something to do with that I remember with ground going down. But we're just gonna. Oh, I remember the other thing I'm supposed to do for this fight. Oh well, too late. Um, wall rings. If you have four wall rings, then the flares and other things will bounce right off of you, and that helps a lot. But I did not remember that, so. Oh well. Ow. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna suck. Okay, steal his magic faster, guys. So he can't do that. So 
we're just going to have to take uh, periodic healing breaks here from this. But see, the thing is, his attacks get worse and more dangerous the more damage you do to him. However, I'm not doing any damage to him. I'm only attacking his magic. So his hit points don't ever go down, so he won't ever advance to the later phases of the battle that are way more dangerous. Um, or so I understand. Again, this is something that I read about, and it seems to make sense at least, so we're going with that. I'm really just trying to keep everybody topped off so that no, there are no surprises. And keep rasping him. Now, if you had wall rings, then you would have to use high potions here to heal yourself. Or a lore, or something of else that uh, doesn't bounce off. So, like, White Wind um, would be nice if you had it from, with uh, your Strago, my Zipnab. And he's got a lot of magic. Like, several thousand. But we're hitting a lot here, so I'm hoping that this actually won't take too much longer. And he's dead! Never done that one before, but I like it. Okay, now, if you add anything important on your shadow, it's about to go bye-bye. I don't think he, it unequips him from this point, so if you had anything really, really, really important, you probably should have unequipped it before this fight. I don't, so I don't care. See, there's the elixir. You don't get a ribbon for beating him. I have no right to fight by your side. Not after I sold myself to the Empire. Okay. Bye. Okay. Let's give him something interesting. Yes, take that away from the removal. Okay, well, he did unequip his uh, Esper, so maybe he unequipped all of his stuff too. I don't know. Alright, uh, we should be in decent shape at least, but let's go ahead and top everybody off here. Up we go! Well, look who's here. Yeah, and there's why you don't take Celeste with you. Because if you're missing a fourth person, she comes running up to join your party, and now you have four people. If you already have her in your party, she's already there. Nobody comes to run, run up to join you. So that's why you don't take her along. Celeste, what are you doing here? I... I followed you. I have a score to settle with the Empire. I need to work on her accent. I haven't done much dialogue with her. <laughs> so you all came to die together, then. Well, you're just in time. Behold! The Warring Triad! Emperor Gestal, please stop this madness. Bump. Celeste, child, you alone are special. Why don't I give you and Kefka the task of creating progeny to populate my new magic empire, which could mean adding Magitech powers to other people and creating Magitech powered people, blah, 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 blah. Arguably, he's asking them to start making babies, which... Oh. I mean, Kefka. Not the Celeste part. That's great. Most people are okay with the Celeste part, but the Kefka part... Kill 
of the others and will forgive your treachery. Well, of course. Then, if you just ask her, gosh, thank you for being so polite. Take this sword. Kill them all. Okay. To us, together we will rule the world. Power only breeds a war. It's something we'd all be better off without. Stab me, stab. Vicious brat! Whoa, whoop! I don't know what it just did there. Just auto advance through all of that dialogue, ending with little brat! Gods, you were born to fight! Now is the time! I implore you, show me your power! No means no, Kefka. Let me in here. Grr. Now listen to me. No more playing games. I command you. Show me your power. Kefka, stop. If you revive them, they'll destroy the very world we want to rule. There's no value in that. Kevka, are you mad? Mad? Ebrigastal, what are you saying? This is the perfect chance to show them the power of the Warring Triad! Oh, Kevka, you poor hopeless thing. I'm afraid you leave me no choice. No hard feelings now. I'm just going to use this power you've unleashed to put you to sleep. What's so funny? Very well. I suppose it's only fitting that you go out laughing. If you're gonna go, go with a smile! Faraga! Nope. I love his little... Fair! What's going on? Why isn't my magic working? Melt us down! Kevka! How? How are you doing this? How, you ask? By standing at the center of the Warring Triad, of course! They absorb all the magics in their way. Or hadn't you noticed? Triad! Your first victim has stepped forward. Show this useless old man your true power! No, Kefka! Stop playing around! I said, show him your power! In incredible. <laughs> Can't you do any better than that? You're way off. Where are you aiming? More to the right. Run, run, or you'll be well done. <laughs> Dear. Well, I guess I was a bit hasty in calling you a useless old man before. Now you're useless! Uh, 
Woe is about to learn the meaning of fear. I love this little look this way and whoopsie. You couldn't have hopped up and run into the middle of the triad there, Celeste? No. Kefka. Uh-oh. Things look bleak. Kefka, you mustn't. If you disturb the balance, their power will run wild. Some men just want to watch the world burn. That is not my Michael Caine impersonation. Who's that? It's Iken floating somehow. Ninja powers. Oh! Good job, Ryken. How'd you know how to do that? Go! Hope we don't fall down like the Emperor did. Forget about me. Run. There's no stopping this now. I'll find my way back. Trust me. You can't escape me! So that little blue dot, that's where we're going. That is our way out. That is our goal. That is everything we need to go for. Before we go anywhere, though, however... Ryken. Come on, we have to get out of here. First, we need to equip Celeste. Not with that, though. Uh, sure. Actually, let's give you something else for a moment. I'm fine. And then give her the stone blade. Um, ribbon's fine for the moment, and... Fine, I don't care. You notice the timer is still going. I think, or did it stop? Did it stop? It looks like it stopped. Excellent. It didn't used to. Oh, good God, she needs a lot of magic. She's been out of the party for so long, I have not leveled up her magic, which that could come to bite me in a little while. We'll see. The levels are also a little bit low compared to everyone else now, obviously. Okay, here we go. There's basically some fixed battles in this place. Versus these things, for instance. I don't know what they're weak against anymore. So... Nothing to steal, okay? Okay, simple enough. Kira, good. Now, the one thing you always have to remember is when you get up to this next section. Just in case, because I think they can cast spells, so it's a good I'm gonna try to Celeste until I've learned otherwise. Falls, nothing there. Oh, yeah, see, so I gotta do the fight again. Not too worried about time here. Despite all appearances. Okay, now do not go straight for that little ball. You have to go down and around to get it. If you go straight for it, this part drops off and disappears. And you lose what's in there. Aha! See? Was useful.
She is maxed out on all my available espers. Uh, so I'll give her that just in case. Although I, I don't think she's getting any XP here, so not a big deal. This is Elixir. See? Okay, here we go. The boss for this area. I don't remember if he cast spells on me other than Doom or not, but good god, that's already going down awfully fast. Okay, nothing to worry about stealing. That's good. Cat scratch. Excellent. Oh! Okay, done. Okay, now I don't think there's anything to be gained here. Except... Yay, airship, we're saved. Everybody re immediately rush. We have plenty of time left. No, you don't. You wait. And I'll fast forward this part. And if you leave, or if you try to walk back and come back. That's why you wait. We're going to wait for Riot again. Because, actually, I'll, I won't fast forward. I'll keep talking. Uh, so, if you do not wait for him, Ryakin will no longer be in the game. He dies up here and won't show up later and you cannot get him back and done. So, wait for Ryakin. Always. Always, always, always. Um, there's only one or two differences in the game as a result. Number one, obviously, you don't get Ryakin. And then when I get to later on, and, and it'll be several videos from now, uh, when I get to the one or two places where there is a difference based on him no longer being in the game, I'll point those out, because obviously the first time I played this, I didn't wait for Ryakin, I didn't know. And so I experienced those differences firsthand. So... Here we are, the final 10 seconds. We get down to about four, I think. Yep, there we go. What's up, dude? Bye again. I'll never be able to rest in peace if I died without collecting my pay. Whee! There's no way to stop their magic. Now I will say, for this sort of thing to happen in a video game, I don't know that anything like it has ever happened. The bad guys won. This is, as far as the story goes, this is the Empire Strikes Back moment. The bad guys just won. They got everything they were looking for. Kefka got the superpower and he is literally destroying large parts of the world with it. I cannot think of another game where this sort of thing really has happened like this. Where the world, and you'll see it in a bit, is remade. And you, it's totally different. I love it. Hang on. Or not. And all the good guys get knocked about, scattered to the four winds, and... See what I mean? And watch the middle there. Literally reshaping 
the land masses on this planet. I... I got nothing. This was mind-blowing at the time. And of course, I'm watching this when I first played this as... I don't know how old I was, a kid, I guess. On that day, the world was changed forever. And... I... Wow. So, on that note, this is where I'm going to end this video and we'll pick up next time. Thank you for watching. Come back for the rest of the series. Leave a like, subscribe.